When it's dark and rainy outside, it really gets me in the mood to play some video games like The Witcher or The Witcher 3, which I really love but hardly ever do anymore unfortunately. And of course it inspires me to do some drawing, some of my darker fantasy stuff. And I don't just find the inspiration in the weather, also in some of my books that I have about mythology, different cultures and what people believed in. And I thought it's October. I love this whole dark fantasy aesthetic. So let's draw some wraiths like in The Witcher, um, some, you know, some ghosts, some specters, whatever, that are haunting some place or someone or, well, I just, just hold a grudge in general and they're ready for a fight. So I'm gonna do three drawings in this video, each with their own little twist and some variation. Um, but I really wanted all of them to have some ghostly features like, you know, they're floating, they have some sort of um, rags um, floating along with them. They have some steam or some magical sort of fire or, fire or um, fog, whatever, um, coming out of them. Some of them have some chains dangling off them. You know, ghost stuff, very simple ghost stuff. And of course I want them to look um, skinny and skinny fat, I would, I would say, skinny and and saggy and you know just old and worn down and just like like ghosts and I try to keep I try to keep those drawings simpler than most of my drawings I tend to go a little bit overboard with the shading with uh, the details and so my goal was um, a little bit of an exercise uh, for myself to just keep the shading simpler um, no that's actually not true not to keep the shading simpler um, but to do less shading in general and just have um, more contrast in the shading. So rather than doing a lot of just medium gray shading, I do like very little medium shading here and there and a lot of heavier shading. Just work with the contrast a little bit more. That was my personal exercise that I've set for myself. And I've always been obsessed with this sort of stuff, with fantasy and with um, ghosts and um, witches and um, mythology. Um, where I live in Austria, we have a ton of folklore um, of like, um, you know, ghosts and uh, demons and uh, or the devil, you know, the devil playing some tricks with some with some uh, farmers or with some peasants or whatever. And there are also there are also a lot of castles in my area where I live, so I also always love to visit those. And um, I would say half of the year during the winter and during fall. Um, so during fall, during autumn, um, it's very, um, very dark and gloomy, not outright winterish, but just, you know, like, bleh, like cold and wet and gray and foggy and blah. So yeah, that always did something to me as a child. So that's probably why I feel too drawn to, uh, to things like Lord of the Rings and The Witcher and, um, a lot of this Neverwinter, a lot of these darker fantasy sort of stuff, Warhammer. And yeah, I just have a general love for this sort of stuff. So I think it reflects with my drawings. I hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I'm very excited for that. Um, I'm so grateful. I never thought, man, when I got a hundred subscribers, I thought I'm gonna, you know, do a number two in my pants. It was always my dream since I was like 10 years old. Uploading some stupid gaming videos on YouTube, some Minecraft stuff. But now I actually have a thousand subscribers, so whoo, that's really awesome. Check out my Instagram. Um, I post a lot of cool stuff on my Instagram, some cool photos of my drawings, so check that out. I'm um, talking about fall, autumn, um, you know, being dark, cold and gloomy and I, man, uh, maybe you can hear it, I have a really bad cold, um, that, that happens around that time of year, um, not as often, to me at least, as you might think, because I tend to have a very strong immune system, but, uh, yeah, that's uh, also part of this time that I really hate, um, I get really sick, like, once a year, maybe, maybe even, yeah, maybe twice a year, like two or three days where I really have to lay in bed. I'm always very lucky, you know, like it's always during my weekend, always during holidays, always 
when I'm on vacation. It's only once or twice a year, but when it happens, it happens really bad. And I'm stuck in bed for three days and yeah, always during the weekend. On Monday, I feel fine. But Saturday, Sunday, I'm sick. So yeah. Alright, starting the second drawing now. We are trying some different features with this one now. Giving him um, a sword and um, a slattern. Um, this one actually, um, the one that I did before, and the reference I took a picture of myself in that pose, which I tend to do. And no, I'm not gonna show you those photos, they look very ridiculous. Um, but this one I have the reference actually from The Witcher 3, so some of you might recognize this one with the hood and the letter and the sword. This is actually directly from The Witcher 3. So I have to admit this one that I'm drawing right here is not out of my own imagination. Oh man, how how bad of me. Um, bad artist, very, very despicable I know. So I'm just doing some fan art. I mean, who does fan art, right? <laughs> No, but seriously, um, yeah, this is just the second one that I'm doing right here is just straight up fan art of The Witcher 3. The first one that you see me do is from my own imagination and um, from my own reference that I took myself. The third one is also going to be from my own imagination and from my own reference that I took. This one right now, right here, is just a screenshot from The Witcher 3. So, yeah, I hope I hope you let that fly. I hope I get a pass on that and I hope um, you won't cancel me for it but I have to admit um maybe it's karma but this one I don't really I'm not really convinced about I'm convinced about the first one that I did this one oh man I did exactly the opposite of what I wanted to do you know I went overboard with the shading I did too much I did it too wonky um I did it too loose so um yeah not a bad drawing but uh, definitely not very happy with the which are free fan art one that you see me doing right here. So yeah, but the third one I'm more convinced about. Ah, oh God, this cold. <laughs> All right, so starting out the third drawing now. Um, the third drawing. Um, uh, again, I had to get myself in that pose, take a reference photo, and <gasps> yeah, so I can draw it. Oh man, I love maces, um, like chain mace. And this one is gonna carry a mace. Um, I try to have it look like you know the weight of the mace is like pulling him down a little bit, and uh, or at least his arm. I don't know how well it worked out in the end. You be the judge of that, but. Yeah, the mace. Really, really um, frightening, but very cool weapon, you know. Gives me some nice um, medieval... Gives it some nice medieval flair, I think. Like in Lord of the Rings, I think Sauron has a mace. But not on a chain, you know. Some orcs might have some. I think in Warhammer, um, there, are some, there is some more representation of the chained mace. 
Is it, is that even what it's called? Let me check real quick. Um, chain mace. Oh yeah, really? Yeah, it's called flail. A flail, mom. Man, I'm stupid. I call it morning star. Yeah, of course. I call it a mace. Yeah, it's flail, flail, uh, mace with chain and spiked ball. So yeah, this one is gonna hold a medieval flail mace with chain and a spiked ball. That's what it's called. And yeah, they look awesome. And I want one on me. Like, not the weapon on me, that would hurt a lot, I mean, like, a tattoo. Um, a lot of people get maces, like, um, flails tattooed on them. Uh, I don't know the meaning behind it, um, a lot of tattoos have different meanings. F I don't really care if it has a meaning. For me, it just looks cool, and what it would mean to me is that I just love the aesthetic of it, you know, so... Yeah, let's see where I... if I get, like, a flail in the, in the future. Um, Right now I'm talking to an artist in London, who um, I'm whom I might pay a visit to do something on my forearm, second tattoo on my forearm, um, maybe some sort of dragon or wyvern or whatever, with like a winged dragon. Isn't a winged dragon a wyvern? I think, yeah, probably. With a little bit more contrast, and um, I also try to with this one I try to implement some sort of no. Um, some decom decomposition on his body, you know. You can see the skin is uh, like ripped open. Um, you can see his um, his uh, chest, his um, what is it called? His rib cage is exposed. Um, parts of his stomach are exposed. So um, I didn't want it to go do that overboard and have like his uh, you know his guts hanging out or something at his belly. So I just <laughs> so I just did some exposed flesh there. Um, but yeah, not too gory, of course, you know, just more like zombie-like, also on his head a little bit. Um, but yeah, the flail, the chain, chain mace, really cool. Also, some tears, some holes in his rug. His rug, whatever it's called, you know, the thing that he's wearing, his tunic. No, what is it? Um, his rugs, rags, rags, not rug. The rug is something on the floor that you walk on, so you don't get cold feet. Yeah. The rags that he is wearing so you don't see his little ghost junk floating about subscribe to the channel give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i'm very thankful to you guys thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you around on our channel okay take care bye bye